faith? Uh, that's faith is actually a very broad term. Um, I do believe that Maryville College is an accepting place. I do believe it's a loving place. I really like it here. It really is just a really free and encouraging environment. My favorite thing is just definitely the community. Maybe because the community is kind of small, relatively compared to like the other communities, like we feel tight, we're close, intimate, you know? I, re I really don't know how to answer that. I just think, um... Yeah. They really don't. When you asked me the question, I thought, I don't, I don't, I don't think of... I guess when I think of stories in the Bible and that kind of thing, I don't have a face with most of those folks, so it's kind of hard for me to yeah. The first time that we had kind of like ceremony in Glen Center, we prayed, right? And everyone's like that, and I had like no idea what they were doing, and I was like, what the, what the heck's going on? Yeah. What is my faith yes. like? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so hard just to put in a couple of words. I know. Alright, well I was born and raised Presbyterian, um, but I, lately, in the past few years, I've just been exploring and um, I, I can't say 100% sure what exactly my faith is, and I'm okay with that. Well, I've been raised Catholic, which I really enjoy, but also there's, I guess there's some major points that I'm not in agreement with. I believe in God, and uh, I believe in the Bible and everything it's about. I'm Christian. I grew up Methodist. I am Christian and I have faith in the Cherokee Nationalist Belief System. And I'm Episcopalian. I'm a Protestant Christian. Non-denominational Christian. Non-denominational Christian. I'm Christian. It's Christian. I'm a Christian. Uh, I seek to follow Christ. Um, I follow a Lakota uh, Sioux tradition of Native American shamanism. Have total belief in God that He will see you through anything. anything. First, uh, I think Jesus is supposed to be more than um, this guy in the clouds that you sing songs to. Um, and if you do everything right, you might get to heaven. Um, you know, since I'm an atheist, I don't really believe in anything. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to believe. Like, and I really think that statement has more. I don't know. I think it's has more wisdom than it sounds at first. Because, um, I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone is sure what they believe. I think there definitely is a connection at Maryville between faith and being here on campus. We're all about uh, faith tradition here, and especially how faith and learning go together. We're pretty clear that we value our relationship to the church, we value our Christian tradition, but we value that in such a way that I think, I hope, gives freedom to other people to find their own paths and to claim their own specificity. That by being specific about, as an institution, where we come from and what we value, that I hope that gives people the freedom to grow in their own paths. You're really challenged, like no matter who you are, to, um narrow narrow down and hone in on what you really believe. I think at Maryville College it uh, it helps you find who you are in your faith. It's faith in action a lot of times here. But I think it's important when people think about faith in Maryville College is to understand the, the Presbyterian tradition and the idea of reformed and always reforming that uh, you know there's always the chance that God's revelation will be revealed. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well, not too faithful, though. But I see some people like believe in you know certain things and they follow it. I think that you can go to Maryville College and never be confronted with an uncomfortable situation with faith, or be confronted with any sort of dilemma with faith with anybody else who didn't believe, but you believed or something like that. Really can make my faith towards Maryville College. I yeah, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's our roots are, you know, Presbyterian and obviously some kind of religious background. But I guess over the years, I would feel that we've there's a dis disconnect between the school and religion overall. That's bad to say, but we've lost that that touch.
from my perspective. You know, faith really isn't that big of an issue that I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, like I've not had any problems. I've not met anyone else who's had any problems. Uh, religion has its own place here, but that's not going to interfere with any other of the social aspects of the college. People definitely have kind of what a, whatever experience they want. There actually hasn't been a day here that I haven't talked about religion, and I think that's really cool, but for some people, like, that would drive them nuts. I think that, that Miraville College here, we have tons and tons of opportunities for, uh, for faith development and to cultivate faith. Um, and it, it all depends on, on the student, it, their willingness to go ahead and, and take action and uh, you make of it what you make of it. Like, yeah. it's up to you. Anniversary has been huge. Um, probably more than anything else. Maribel College over the past year, um, uh, we spent most of my freshman year last year uh, just uh, getting to know a really good group of friends at uh, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. We certainly uh, put a lot of weight in the Center for Campus Ministry and what happens there. I was just on the phone with a mother of a prospective student and the mother has a very specific view of Christianity and she was asking me all these doctrinal questions like do we believe in speaking in tongues and what do we believe about speaking in tongues and would her daughter speaking in tongues be accepted here. Yeah. Um, and I found myself s just saying over and over again, well, we really don't take positions like that. Like, this is right, the, I mean, speaking on specific doctrines. But that I had every confidence that that student, if she came here, would be respected. People might be curious. But I didn't think that there would be anyone who would say, oh my goodness, I can't believe you do that, that that's just wrong, that that wouldn't be part of our tradition here. I do enjoy that diversity because I feel like it makes me grow and it makes me question my own beliefs and expand on what I think is right. The atmosphere is very open, and so you get a huge variety of people from different faiths at Maribel College and different ideas. I've found little to no one that actually believes the same way I do. But most people are fascinated by what I believe in. They're always here to listen. I guess it's part of the reason why faith, I don't think, is directly related to Maryville College. Because there are so many people with different beliefs and they are really well accepted and, and faith isn't pushed here the way it is in other places. And Maybe that's a good thing in the long run because they have the chance to accept faith if they want to and not because somebody's telling them they should. Yeah, boy, <clears throat> I think it's kind of cool that yeah. people believe in something. I haven't met anyone that's been oppressive or said this is the right way to think and this is how you shouldn't think. I think it's very open and a lot of different views are considered, like even the people speaking at chapel have had many varied views while speaking every week. I think they're accepting. I I haven't really been pushed either way to any faith, so I think they're accepted. I would say I'm definitely accepted at Maribel College, for sure. I think that pretty much everyone's accepted as long as you're not trying to make, as long as you're not trying to make other people change their beliefs. I feel like your people are accepted here. I think we try to be. We don't always achieve that goal of being accept, totally accepting of a bunch of other faiths, but um, I think we, we try to be and we strive to be accepting, um, and we're getting there, we're getting there. I actually, I turned down a lot of other schools for fear that they were going to be super Bible bashing, but I mean, I really don't get that here at all. Like here, I'm actually quite impressed, and I actually really, I really like the way uh, the school portrays religion and stuff, because it's not super in your face, and it's very just accepting of all people, like it doesn't tell you what to believe, it just gives you really the ability to find out what you believe. It's complete freedom, really. I don't feel like pressured at all because it's the country of liberty, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it's all me that I, you know, that I, that what I believe in, you know? So I don't feel like 
pressured to believe in anything at all, I feel free to be an atheist. When you think of a face of faith, a face of your faith, or just a face of faith in general, what face do you think of? Huh. Or concept of a face? Oh, I was going to say, a real face? Like, whose face? Um, God, I'm so is, Christian. Is, I'm so Christian. I think about Jesus. I think of the faith of Jesus. That's really Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus with a with a crown on bleeding and dying for our sins. I think I would think of people like Jesus, Mother Teresa, the Pope. I think those are those are probably faces of faith, but I think you get the picture from those three individuals. My stepdad, who's the reason really <coughs> um, that I'm a Christian today, because uh, he came in to my family when I was around 12 and uh, started encouraging us more to go to church and then we actually became part of a, of a church all together. Probably think of my mom. I usually think of my parents. My parents definitely and um, my great grandfather who I never met but his legacy is a really great example for me. Um, probably uh, I have to say I, since I'm an organ recipient um, the donor of my organ, who is still anonymous, but has had a huge impact on my faith. You know, I actually think of Father Michael Woods at All Saints Catholic Church because he's just like, he's really humble and he's really intelligent. And he's like, he's really old, but he's, because of that, he's really wise. He would probably be my priest that, that I grew up with. Face of faith, I think of uh, Job on the Bible. I mean, the worst things in the world happen to him. Yeah. No, nothing in my life that bad has happened, but if, if God can pull through that, I guess anybody can pull through anything. Uh, like, it's just, I think it's how people portray their faith that makes a face. So, feels to me like Maryville College is a place I see faces of faith all around me. Considering some of the uh, people I've had the pleasure of working with and meeting in this, uh, great school. I think this is a place where anyone is welcome. I can't remember the title of the song, but all are welcome, all are welcome. Okay. That kind of defines it. Yeah, I think it defines it. It's the coolest project ever.